is Rupp in the centre circle, turning on towards Campwell, who loses control of it, and Deniron in the midfield there, who's on loan from Everton, able to wrestle possession back for Wickham, up towards Kashket, who gets tackled by Hanley, and then Campwell picks up possession, gives it to Buendia, who has thrown it through to Puki. Puki into the penalty show, good chance for Norwich early on, and Puki takes it! Inside three minutes, Norwich have the lead, and that is vintage Timu Puki, a through ball, he races onto it, gets past the last defender, it's a composed finish, and it's Norwich City 1, Wickham Wanderers nil, and it's Timu Puki on the score sheet. Yeah, uh, great finish, like you say, uh, the Timu, Timu Puki that, that we know and love uh, just that extra touch to draw the keeper out and then sort of dink it over him and uh, just a good build-up, great through ball. He looked very composed, he didn't look like a man under pressure or who was going through a bit of a, uh, a, a damp patch. Uh, he, uh, he finished that with a plomb. Here's Aaron's finding Buendia in a promising position from the byline. He's kept it in play here, Buendia. Just in, inside the penalty area, pulls it back to Todd Campwell. Campwell wasting one chance to shoot, but he's done well to find Puki, who turns it across goal, and it's blocked. And Wickham are going to clear this one away. I thought Campwell possibly could have had a go there. Yeah, and even Puki afterwards as well. He, he, he wanted to, uh, to, to, to square it where I thought he was maybe going to pull the trigger on it. But um, certainly in this opening, um, what, six minutes we've had, the you know, the, Campwell the to Buendia, here come Norwich again, it's one-way traffic, Buendia to Puki, edge of the penalty area, he's got time to turn and shoot, and just wide, but, well, this is all Norwich City at the moment, uh, they're all over Wickham, they've got the lead, and they're almost queuing up to have shots at goal. Yeah, and it's, it's just the quality of the one-two touch passing. Handley to Kintia. Plays it inside to Campwell here, 25 yards out. Campwell with a quick pass to Buendia, back to Campwell, lovely football. Puki across the face of goal, and it's cleared from inside the six-yard box there uh, by Thompson and behind for a corner. <laughs> now, a long kick from the goalkeeper Allsop for Wickham towards the edge of the Norwich penalty area. Norwich win the first header, and then the, the second one from Hugo, who goes rolling around as he heads the ball away. But... That's why it's useful having him on the pitch. He's a striker, but it doesn't half help when it's the set pieces as well. Jacobson goes along this time. Headed into the penalty area there by Wheeler. Oh, there's hesitation, and Wickham are going to score! Kashget turns it in after Grant Hanley left the ball to Tim Krull. No one took control of the situation, and completely against the run of the play, Wickham have scrambled an equaliser. Norwich City won, Wickham won. Where did that come from? Um, it's hard to say. I mean... Nobody wanted to come and deal with it, I think, is, is, is um, what came out of that for me. The ball sort of bounced and then it bounced again and defender left it for the goalie, goalie left it for the defender and Wickham player nips in and just taps it in. That yeah, was it's just poor. Throw into Wickham on the right-hand side, which Grimmer will take. And a uh, good turn from Horgan, who crosses in from the right-hand side. Decent delivery and it deflects off Kashket and was awkward for Krull. Actually did well to take it. Back it goes to Ollie Skip, along the ground to Puki. Crisp pass to Buendia. Buendia will play it early and across here to Kintia, who's arriving, level with the Wickham penalty area. Now, can he get it across? He can, stands it up towards Puki on the volley, and it's gone wide. Jacobson's going to take it from the left-hand side, a free kick, level with the Norwich penalty area. It's delivered now towards the far post. It's headed across by Horgan and then over the top from Stewart. And he, no wonder he's stumping his fist into his thigh there because he knows that was a great chance. I mentioned Hugo failing to control the ball a moment ago. Uh, he's got another chance here and he's controlled that one nicely. Long ball up towards him, takes it out towards the left-hand side. He has support available from Xavi Quintia. Infield to Emi Buendia. Buendia now to Campwell. Campwell is 25 yards out, Rupp in the D, trying to get it forward to Puki, it's fallen for Rupp, his One. shot deflected and oh. it loops over the bar. It's a corner, Lucas Rupp, well, not far, I'll say not far away from his first Norwich goal, but it, it was a big deflection, yep. and it was actually the defender there, Stewart, stretching, got something on it, may have gone down as an own goal if it had gone in, but he, he did his job. And here's Ollie Skip in the midfield, surging on towards the halfway line for Norwich City, Buendia behind it, he has possession now, Emi Buendia. He's got Kintia over there in space on the left-hand side, and that's where Rupp tries to play it now, and he's picked out Kintia. It's a good ball. The Norwich left-back on the front foot rolls it towards the edge of the area, and Adam Eder. Eder looking for a shooting position. Oh, it's a good save for the goalkeeper. Eder, blistering effort, that. Really trying to make an impact. One thing on his mind there, as soon as he got the ball, to try and work room for the shot. 
Buendia tries to control, but he's beaten to it by Thompson. Buendia then hits the deck, but there's no foul. Play continues. Thompson for Horgan on the right-hand side. Wickham looking to take the lead here. Horgan crosses from the corner of the penalty area. Hanley's there to head it away. How long have Norwich been able to repel this attack for? Here's Anya Dimma in the penalty area for Wickham. A step over, a shot, and not far wide. And Cash Kent is thumping the floor now because he very nearly got on the end of that for a second goal. Yeah, and, and that's the danger, isn't it? You know, just that one attack. And Wickham have it. Uh, oh, well won back by Rupp. Rupp strides forward, edge of the penalty area, gives it to Campwell in the box, Campwell shot, and it's another save from the goalkeeper. Rebound, falls to Campwell, to the left of goal. Can he make something happen? It's gone to the edge of the area, and Francic hits it, and it's blocked by the Wickham player, and goes behind for the corner. Another save from Allsop. Is it coming for Norwich City? It feels like it is, doesn't it? Um, you know, another good save, a save you'd expect him to make. Kintia's corner from the left-hand side. Hanley's header blocked on the line, and can Norwich get to the rebound? They can't quite. It's been cleared away, and it will be a throw-in. Gibson spraying another good pass out to the left this time. Kintia plays it hurriedly on to Vrancic. Level with the left edge of the penalty area. Vrancic plays it back to Buendia, who oh, doesn't get hold of that one at all. It's a great chance for Emi Buendia, and it just goes bobbling wide. It's 1-1. But it's a chance here for Norwich City. Free kick. Buendia and Vrancic over it. It is going to be Mario Vrancic who curls it beautifully into the top corner. Mario Vrancic, for the second time in the space of a few days, has put Norwich in front late in the game at Carrow Road. It's absolute heartbreak for Wickham Wanderers. They've got into the 90th minute of this game at 1-1 with Norwich City. But Mario Vrancic has just beautifully curled a free kick into the top corner. And no wonder... His teammates are leading the applause. Norwich 2, Wickham 1. What a free kick that is. That is as good as a free kick you'll, you'll see. I mean, he's put that... Yeah, I'm just looking at the replay. I mean, that's that's top corner. Um, just the, the quality, the, the keeper's not saving that. That's just class. Norwich leading 2-1. Late in the game, Mario Vrancic again with potentially the winning goal. It's not over yet. The referee has given a free kick a against uh, Adam Eder, who is going to be sent off. Yeah. You're right. Uh, Adam Eder leaving the foot in on Joe Jacobson. The youngster pleads with the linesman who was right on the scene there. But the, the referee, Gavin him. Ward, has come in and uh, has decided that the studs of Adam Eder went into Joe Jacobson and Eder is sent off. You're getting a chance to look at it. I'll just keep an eye on the pitch and see what happens. There's a, it's off the ball, isn't it, actually? The, the ball's gone, Ida and Jacobson are some, coming yeah. together. What, what happened, QT? Are you, are you buying that as a red card? Yeah, because he's, he's put his hands on him, and he's put his hands on him in the face as well. 